Hi guys, if you are looking for a website editing software with which you can make responsive sites, a program that is offline, flexible, easy to learn and use, and I can add that it uses what you see is what you get and drag and drop technology, my choice is Rocket Cake. Now, how do we find this program? Okay, we go to a search engine and write something like rocket cake, responsive. Okay, what does it say? Okay. So here is the rocket cake website. It's made by Ambira. And uh, here we can download it for free for Windows or for Mac OS. I will not do it because I already have it. And there is a professional edition for 39 euros, also with Windows and Mac OS. I clicked on Buy Now and this is the page that comes up. Here is the program and I will put together a sample website just to show you how flexible it is and how relatively easy it is to use it. So here is our area for the website and let's come to the right top. Here is this container. Let's drag in and drop it. This will be our header. Let's give it some background color. Okay, let it be this teal color. I can start writing if I want to, but I don't. What I will do is uh, I click to this more thing. Now, originally this tool set is a part of the free version and when I click more, these things are available only in the professional version. Now, of course, uh, if we want anything real, serious, then we need the professional version. And so I grab this heading one and this will be the title of our website. Let's make it white. Let's make it bigger. Let's make it bold. All right. And let's center it. So this will be, let's say this is the website title. Let's give it a subtitle also. Let's make it white. Let's make it somewhat bigger. And let's center it. and subtitle for the header. Okay, so we have a header for a website. Let's preview it. Here we go, simple. Now let's continue. Let's give it some content. Let's bring this container with columns here. And now we want only two columns. Here we are, we have two columns. We want to give a title for both. So let this thing here be article. Let this thing be an aside. And let's give them some color. Let's make them bold. Now let's give them some lorem ipsum text. Okay, let's copy three paragraphs. Which control C? Let's copy it. 
Control V. So here we have the text. Let's justify it. Let's give the text a little lighter color. Alright, this should go to the left, this should go to the center. So here is how we are, how we are right now, let's preview it. Alright, now let's say I want this article to be wider and this aside to be not so wide, not so wide. Okay, article, let's say the size should be 70%. Here we are, it pushed the Arctic, the aside to the next line. Let this be 30%. Okay, here we are. Now I don't want that much text on my aside, so I just delete this. Now here is how it looks. Yeah. Now I don't want such long lines here. So what we do is I click on this container of the article and uh, no, I click on the container of both the article and the aside and I say let the maximum width be 1000. Here we are and let's center it. Let's preview it. Here we are. We have an article and then a side with a header. Now, I don't want these text texts to be such close to each other, so what I do is I just enlarge the padding right from 10 to 20. Here we are. That's better. I give a little background color to this aside. Okay, instead of 255, let it be 225. Good. Now let's give it a footer. Container with columns. Let's bring it here. Three columns. Okay. Here we are, so we have a container with two container, with three containers inside. Let them be 30% instead of 33. Let's center them. Here we are. Let's give a dark color a dark background color to this footer. Okay, let it be 40. Good. Let's write some text here. Footer column 1. Let's make this text visible. Here we go. And line 1. Four. Let's make this bold. Control A, Control C. Copy it, Control V. Let's paste it. Here we are. Let's preview it. We have a website. It's very simple, very basic, but we have the things that we want in it. Now let's check how responsive this website is. On the right side at the bottom here we have a slider and uh, here we can see the width of our viewport. Let's start to bring this to the left. Okay, It reaches 1000 and starts 
pushing together the article and the aside. Now, okay, we want to center this, we want to center this too. Here we are. Let's see how it looks. All right. Now, we may not be very happy with this thing here. Probably this is not what we want to see, so let's right click on this aside container and uh, let's go to edit breakpoints. And here it says when the view is smaller than 300 pixels, the width should be 100%. Now let's edit this and let's say when the view is smaller than 600, then the width should be 100%. Let's do the same with the article, edit breakpoints, when the view is smaller than 600 pixels, the width should be 100%. Now let's see how it works. Okay, let's push it together, and we are getting close to 600. Let's see what happens. Yeah, when it reaches 600, the article and the aside become 100% wide and the aside jumps after the article. That's good. Now we can do this here too, that we can edit breakpoints, add when the view is smaller than 600. Let's uh, click on the add button, it brings uh, down a feature list. Let's say the font size instead of 48, let it be 32, with the head header, and the view is smaller than 600, add font size instead of 24, let it be 18, now here in the whole header, 600, and font size instead of 12, let it be 8. Now let's see what will happen. So here we are, getting closer to 600 and yeah, so the size is change and this becomes 100% wide. Okay, let's see these footer columns, edit breakpoints, when the view is smaller than 450 pixels, the width should be 100%. Well, we will just leave it like that. Let's preview it. Here we have our website. Now let's see how responsive is it. Okay, we start to bring it to the middle. And Yes. So this is how it works. It's very simple and it is really flexible and easy to use. You know, if I want this article to be not 70% wide but 75, I can do that. The aside can be 25 instead of 30 if I want it so. So I can easily change uh, its parts. Now, this may not be the most beautiful website that you've ever seen, but we can work on it and make it nicer if you want to. Okay, let's just do one thing. Here is the header and the background mode. Instead of color, let it be an image. Okay, let's open the background image. Here we have one, it says background. Let's preview it. It shows only the sky, so we can set the background vertical alignment to center, the background horizontal alignment to center also. So here we have a website with a picture. All right. I hope you saw something interesting. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye bye.